Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have Ria Singh, technical analyst, currencies at Nirmal Bank, joining in. Uh, Ria, good morning. We've been talking about what's happening with the Indian rupee as well. Uh, let's slightly shift focus to another safe haven, which is the Japanese yen, and that's been pretty quiet in the current market turmoil uh, versus other safe haven assets. Now, if you could just help us understand, in previous crises as well. We've seen solid and consistent records uh, from the Japanese, you know, I mean, what Japanese yen has delivered. Uh, does this actually tell us that from here on, there is a possibility of a great upside potential? Uh, hi, Hiran. So, yes, uh, if you look at the Japanese yen, it has been confined to a very narrow range against the dollar for past few uh, trading sessions. But uh, like you said, fundamentally, uh, even the yen enjoys a safe haven uh, currency uh, status after uh, the uh, dollar being the most traded currencies around the globe. So uh, when the dollar uh, uh, got strong around mid-March, uh, the Japanese yen did had a kind of uh, a downtrend uh, during uh, those uh, sessions. But Yes, if you look at the performance of the yen in such crises, it has been quite commendable uh, because there are a lot of factors uh, included, such as a yen being the another safe haven. Also, a uh, lot of time, uh, the central banks also come in action. Uh, if you even look at uh, uh, you know a past uh, newsletter or something when the Donald Trump uh, did came in. Uh, you know, saying that the uh, central bank of, you know, the bank of Japan uh, during these crises have come in to, you know, safeguard the yen uh, and increase the strength against the dollar. So, yes, according to that, uh, taking the same situation and scenario, we can expe expect yen, yen to gain around 10 to 15 percent in the coming session against the dollar. Also, if you look at the volumes that are happening in the uh, JPY, it has been a, on a rise from the stress levels. So, yes, coming session, we can probably see a weakness in the USD JPY pair uh, to around 105-102 levels because uh, it has been maintaining a very strict resistance towards 108 levels. Right, so that's with regards to where the Japanese yen goes. Apart from that, what's the sense that you're picking up on the pound? Because uh, again, if you talk about the possible trade deal that could happen between US and the UK, do you think it could actually help underpin the pound? Yes, definitely. On a basis of the, uh, you know, the news that came in uh, with the President uh, Donald Trump uh, speaking to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who was recently discussed from the hospital after being treated from the COVID-19. Uh, there were a lot of factors that were discussed into, you know, uh, such as the bilateral and global issues, uh, you know, the shared commitment to reaching a US UK free trade agreement. Uh, uh, though these talks are in uh, progress, uh, the major uh, uh, concern right now for both the countries are to battle against the COVID 19 and uh, to reopen their uh, economy. So, the timeline to fix these, uh, you know, the talks to get to a progressive level is still not decided. Uh, uh, maybe the pound may have bounced back on the, you know, the news that, is, you know, a basic, you know, the speech that was released by both the houses, you know, the White House and the statement from the uh, uh, UK house. So, basis on that, there might be a bounce, but since the timeline is not decided, the uh, you know, the rally that we are seeing in the pound uh, may not last very much. Right. So for today's market, uh, what would the strategy be? Any intraday strategies that you would want to recommend? So today's session will be kind of a wait and watch because uh, we did see a major uh, fallback in all the currencies yesterday. Uh, so for uh, the rupee, one must consider that if the pair opens 
on a weak note and uh, you know break down the level of 7650 7650 is a very important level uh, in the today's uh, session if it gives a break down to that there might be a continued uh, uh, bearish rally that can uh, happen towards uh, uh, 70 you know towards 76 levels so that can be followed in the rupee but uh, if in case it doesn't happen and there is a breakout of uh, 7665 uh, the uh, pair may again uh, may retrace the fall from yesterday's session then uh, the other strategy that one can follow will be a uh, uh, again pound like i said the pound did uh, uh, the uh, came down on the from the past three to four trading session and it can still go down because uh, even the gains were there in the last session it was a very flat trade so one must look out to uh, for a sell in pound inr in today's session as well right all right Rhea. pleasure speaking to you and thank you for sharing uh, that update as well along with the strategies for the day thank you